Hello and welcome. It's Susan and this is our day for the treasure chest of you. In the field of soul mastery, your treasure chest is the outpouring of your soul. So we're going to speak today about being daring to be you, the fullness of you, and being seen and heard, literally and metaphorically. It's a time for that. We know new energies are coming in and they are coming in sizzling, <laughs> right? But often they get stuck in the upper heart part of our body because the lower part of our body has been used to imploding. We'll talk about that in a moment. And for those of you who don't have English as your first language, you can quickly look up what imploding means, but we'll talk about that, okay? Daring to be seen and heard. Imagine that if you stand up for yourself, it's like singing the song of your soul. See it that way. Versus standing up for yourself means you stand up against something or you're standing up for yourself because someone else is saying something you don't like. It's not about other here at all. It's about you moving beyond your own glass ceiling. And it's a great time for that. Bursting out these bulbs. I wish you could smell what I could smell. They're called hyacinth and oh my gosh. <laughs> Even just, see how my hands are moving. Sometimes I've heard for years that if you just put your hands up and even higher, you start to feel different about yourself. You know, it's sort of that victory piece. If you're just sort of crunched over, right? Feel the difference when you're crunched over and you're sitting at your computer and your neck hurts. You don't even have to get to that point. That doesn't feel like you're standing up for yourself. But when you just sit back, stand up, expose your heart and soul more, all sorts of new things happen. Now we've been getting much better at being brave hearts. I hear that from people all the time and I applaud you all. Being able to discern what it feels like to live from your heart more. And your intuitive guidance is all part of that as well. Listening to the voice of your soul, listening to spirit before you act or react or before you shut down. <laughs> so now we're going to do something that relates more to the solar plexus right here beneath your heart, in between your ribs. It's the and so it is space. And so it is. It relates to spirit coming in into the heart, being felt in the heart, known in the heart. You come to this level, you're really getting it into embodiment. And you say, and so it is. So it shall be. This is it. I got this. Those are expressions of the solar plexus. Some call it the power center, but it really is about being able to stand up for yourself and come into yourself. When you sing the song of your soul, it means it comes here, right? When you're singing, if you don't use diaphragmatic breathing, you're not going to get very far. So this is using this center here. And that happens to be the very center where we implode. All right, let me talk about that. So if you implode throughout our lives, this life, past lives, you name it, you have been hurt in various ways, rejected, abandoned, abused, verbally, in every way. And the body goes into shock and trauma and sort of uh, imploding if you don't know what to do with that. It, it's the fight or flight freeze starting to take over here. And it cuts off the lower half of our body, which is what we need for standing up for ourselves, being true to ourselves. That means bringing all of us forward. When we bring all of us forward and we're not afraid to speak what is true for us, stand for what is true for us in our heart, 
let that come forward first and also to be able to have that intuitive gut knowing sense. That is our greatest, one of our greatest gifts is our intuitive knowing. We all know what it's like to follow that. But when we implode all the time, we can't hear that intuitive nature coming in and giving us a feeling of knowing exactly what to do when, what to say comes from this level of us. It's not about learning communication skills. When you get something that you want to learn how to say, like I hear what you're saying to another person, if you feel it inside, they feel seen and understood because you are taking the time to feel and understand what is important to you. Putting your oxygen mask on and not imploding. When we implode, it's a shutdown mechanism. And we wonder why we can't burst through a ceiling. For instance, if you have a feeling that there's so much new that wants to come in, you've got dreams, you've got possibilities, you sense, sense energies of new beginnings, but they don't seem to be coming into reality, it's often not just because of the heart, it's the solar plexus imploding out of fear, which becomes a shutdown, and you have no idea what you're holding that's holding back the tide of these energies coming in and landing. Manifestation, reality, the new chapter in your life has to come through the fullness of you, available to what you sense is possible. I was um, assisting a few people in our Sacred Soul Circle. It's my membership site. You can go to my website, soulmastery.net, if you want to learn more about it. It's a two bi bi monthly <laughs> time together, beautiful intimate circle. And I do psychic uh, soul readings with people. And a few people were talking about having lots going on, visions, possibilities, all of that, but not knowing how to. Um, allow whatever is true and real next to come forward. What do I work with? It's about bringing it in here, holding it sacred. Uh, say you want to own a hot dog stand. I always come up with silly examples. <laughs> um, a hot dog stand and you're like, I don't know where to start. I got this vision and this possibility. I don't know where to start. It's usually because this solar plexus has been imploded about the whole idea. You're like, I don't know where to start. I don't know what to do. So hearing, listening, going, okay, my first step is to do this. That's all I need to think about. My first step, if I want to create something, you have to take steps of reality in that reality. If you want a boyfriend, if you want a new friend, if you want a puppy, any of that, you a new job, you have to take action steps. Imploding keeps us out of those action steps. It's like, oh, I'm shut down. I don't know what to do here. I'm a little frozen. So notice that. Notice that and go, I'm going to come more into this. This is what... It brings you beyond your glass ceiling. It lifts you into more of you coming forward and being available to meet these higher energies. You see, that's how it works, right? Okay. So I've described imploding. Just notice when you feel it hurts here or you notice where you're just sort of pulling back instead of speaking up for your heart and soul, the singing of songs of your soul. When you start to listen to that more, you can't stand in that imploding place. The other piece is how it relates to others. That's the biggest piece, right? We implode because we have this old trauma response about people hurting us. We want love. We're afraid, you know, it's, let, let's, let me slow down for a minute and describe this. So we don't want people to hurt us. So we put up our so-called wall. This is the old way we used to do it. But at the same time, we want to know love. So we're open and too open to what people are bringing. Push away, be too open. Push away, be too open. 
when you're in that place of I know who I am, I know what I want to say, I know what I stand for, this is what's important to me, you're not going up against anyone and you're not keeping out love because this is self-love, self-respect and connection to universal, powerful you. When you're in that space, you're not afraid of losing anything from another person. We do a lot of that people pleasing. We do a lot of, oh, I can't say that because I'm not sure what the reaction's going to be. What if they, what if that, which is usually about what if they don't give me the support I need, the love I need. Yikes. I can't live without that. So I'd rather implode and just take it, take the hit. You don't even know you're doing it. It's old. So coming into yourself, dare to be more of you, stand for you, without the fear of consequences hurting others, maybe our relationship dynamics will change because we will become true to ourselves. The world is a reflection of us and therefore we invite more of others lifting up to the truth of themselves. In fact, and if they can't do that, that's not your problem. Your problem is to keep, not as a warrior against, your, your um, um, what's the word I want? What you need to do, let's just say that, the song of your soul, is to be here for yourself in all ways. So you can move beyond this glass ceiling, come forward, let these higher energies come in because you're here to receive them in the in the uh, cornucopia of the lower half of your body that is not afraid to change your relationship with yourself to change your relationship with others we've been here for others primarily for a long time and it's out of fear unconscious but it's there so check in where do i go <gasps> I have to answer that email because they need something. <gasps> what do I need to do here because there's a need there? <gasps> that kind of thing. We implode. Those are all implosions, but it doesn't give us the place to come forward. So this is our creative challenge because below the sacral center is your creative center. We can't create the new reality we feel coming in if we are not speaking up, standing up, being seen and heard by ourselves, being the new dimensions of ourselves we want to see in the world, when we do that, then we start to move into creation and we start to move into manifestation. We are pregnant with the possibilities of what we can create. Isn't that fantastic? And that's what you want. You want to feel you're in position to let these energies give you momentum, inspiration. So standing up for yourself in each moment, say, okay, what does it look like for me to stand up more for myself in this moment? And give your body a practice of how to do that. And I guarantee you, you'll be so much happier that you did, even though you'll have to move past that discomfort of going, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, will I be received for this? Will I be loved? Will I still have a place in this world? So I support you in being seen and heard as yourself uniquely and discover the magic that comes forward. I'm so excited to be with you in this. And if you want to go further this very week, yay, I am starting a four week Equinox immersive training Feel at home on earth in your universal self. Feel at home on earth and dare to be seen and heard. That's all part of it, come to think of it. <laughs> so I invite you, soulmastery.net, you'll see it on the home page, to come forward in yourself so you can be all that you know is possible for you in this beautiful year. Blessings and love to you.